We studied the relationship between sales and retail spending from a sample of 12 companies. Using Excel regression analysis, we obtained the equation of the line of best fit of 25.985 plus 4.6172 times x. Using Excel scatter plot, we obtained the same result. You can watch the video on finding line of best fit using Excel analysis tool pack and scatter plot. The link is in the description below or you can click on the end screen. This equation of line of best fit was obtained using the squares method. So the goal of this video is to explain how this equation came up. This squares method provides values of estimated parameters B0 sample intercept as estimate of beta 0 population intercept and B1 sample slope coefficient as estimate of beta 1 population slope coefficient that minimize the sum of squared regression residuals. What is regression residual? Regression residual is the error of prediction using the regression equation. It is the difference between actual observation denoted by y and predicted values in regression line denoted by y hat. Looking at company 08, its actual value of y is 53. In scatter plot, it is plotted here. Using value of x of 3, its predicted value y hat using the regression model computed as 25.95 plus 4.6172 times 3 is 39.836. The difference of around 13 is the residual. Company 01 has also the same value of x of 3 million. Company 01 has actual y value of 40 which is almost the same with its predictive value of 39.836. This is the reason why the point of company 01 is near to regression line. These are the residuals of 12 observation. Adding all the residuals in 12 observation will now sum up to zero because positive errors will be cancelled out by negative errors. That's why to find the line of best fit, we instead minimize the sum of squared residuals. The sum of square differences between actual values and predictive values of dependent variable is called as SSE or sum of squared errors. As we know, y hat is equal to b0 plus b1 times x. So formula for SSE will become sum of actual value of y minus b0 intercept minus b1 slope patient times x independent variable squared. From this formula of SSE, we can arrive with formula in finding the b1 slope coefficient. This orange part of table corresponds to part of formula x minus mean of x. The dark blue part of table corresponds to part of formula actual value of y minus mean of y. Light blue part of the table is the product of the results from two previous columns which corresponds to this part of formula. The green column corresponds to the denominator squared deviation from mean of x. The result is 4.6172 b1 slope coefficient. Exactly the same results with Excel regression analysis and scatter plot. Now how about b0 intercept? We can compute the mean of x using Excel function equal then average function open parenthesis then choose values of x then close parenthesis the result is 4.75 do the same with y values the mean of y is 47.92 we will plot them in the scatter plot here is x of 4.75 and y of 47.92. The corresponding point will lie on the regression line. Therefore, we can solve the intercept using this formula. Mean of y is equal to b0 plus b1 times mean of x. To transposition, b0 will be mean of y of 47.92 minus b1 of 4.6172 times mean of x of 4.75. The result is 25.985. Same with the results from Excel regression analysis and Excel scatter plot. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification button.